and welcome to my channel I'm Lisa if you're new please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and if you're a returning watcher thank you on today's episode I'm gonna do a mukbang for the first time so what is a mukbang <laughs> it's basically a Chinese uh, Japanese Japanese terminology for just eating so I ordered all this from Red Lobster and I'm feeling kind of hot right now and basically I'll just tell you what I have I have coconut shrimp I have some shrimp that came with the is this the Admiral feast I don't remember some kind of feast that have the lobster tails and crab I have biscuits mashed potato baked potato rice corn crab legs and look at this skimpy 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 lobster tail I was expecting two so I don't know how much really comes in here but anyway I think I need to adjust my camera I don't think it's symmetrically okay but okay and we're back so in here I have um, lemonade I don't really eat out that much I lately I've been trying to eat out again so anyway isn't this glass cute look at this cheers my friends it's from the dollar store <laughs> oh. and I put crushed ice in there sometimes you just need a cool refreshing glass of lemonade on this hot 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 day because I'm hot Whew. I'm going to start off with the shrimp, which is the coconut shrimp. Oh, I've got to say grace. I'm sorry. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the food we're about to receive. May the Lord should keep us strong in Jesus' name. God bless the hands and the utensils of the crown of food in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Okay. I have a whole bunch of sauces here. Hmm. I think this one is like butter. Sit down. Oh. My dogs are near me. I don't know why. Okay. So one of these goes, yeah. I, I think it's this one. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, no, I forgot. I forgot to get a um a bowl or something for the trash. But anyway. So as I mentioned, my name is Lisa. It's my first mutt bang. And I think there's gonna be many more in the future. Because one thing I do know how to eat is healthy. I know how to eat. I love food. I love food. Um I'm originally from Jamaica and this is from Red Lobster, their biscuits. I don't know, it just looks kind of different. Maybe it's my Red Lobster near me. I live in um, Georgia. I have a son and two dogs. I have a Maltese and a Maltipoo. As you can see, the Maltipoo is like staring me down that's bad manners sit don't stare at me when I'm eating that's bad manners go somewhere uh-uh I want you out of here out out so I can tell you right off the bat that a lot of Jamaicans don't like dogs in the house isn't that shocking because we grew up with dogs outside so having dogs inside the house is a big I'm getting used to but if you love dogs you understand mm. this is just regular butterfly shrimp I have a lot of shrimp here
I love to talk. <laughs> So the reason why I wanted to get Red Lobster to start off with was because I was watching, is it Jimmy Fallon or Jimmy, yeah, Jimmy, no, you know there's two Jimmys on late night, right? And I always get them confused. I know what they look like. I think it's Jimmy Fallon. And Nicki Minaj was on there. So they went to Red Lobster and basically Nikki was telling him, you know, that she used to work at um, Red Lobster and how she got fired and it was the, the cutest little story how she got fired was because she was, um, she went out, chased after a customer for her pen, which was the company's pen. <laughs> I'm not sure if Jimmy was joking when he said he's never been to Red Lobster. But he fell in love with the biscuits. These cheese biscuits are the bomb. But I don't know, they look kind of old and decrepit. <laughs> I, I haven't been to Red Lobster in years. Years. <laughs> I have some more shrimp here. This is just regular shrimp in sauce, I guess. So, after she gave her interview, Nikki and Jimmy were serving some customers. It was a cute little segment. I liked it. So I said, you know what? I've always wanted to do a mukbang. So I'm starting off with Red Lobster. This lemonade tastes so good. So because I live in Georgia, I must be one in a million that live in Georgia that don't like sweet tea. That's right, I don't like sweet tea. <laughs> I will pick lemonade or water over sweet tea in a heartbeat. And it's a staple for Georgia. You want to know the weird thing? I'm a tea girl. I love tea. I can drink tea morning, noon, and night. But when it comes to sweet tea, mm -mm, mm -mm, not working for me. It's just like um, papaya. Growing up with papaya. I hate the smell of it, but I can drink it. But now, as an adult, I can eat it and drink it. Isn't that weird? I know, I haven't gotten to the crab and the lobster yet.
So shout out to Nicki Minaj. You know the one thing that I like about Nicki Minaj is her is her wing tip eyebrows. It's a staple for her. What is this? Is this sour cream? Oh, this is the... Oh, okay. There's another sauce. I think, yeah, this is like a pineapple... I thought it was the sour cream. That's why I put it over here. But it's actually for the coconut shrimp as well. It's like a pineapple-ish fall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It has crushed pineapples. Get off. Get off. So, yeah, you know, I like that Nicki Minaj did the um, the segment with Jimmy to show that it doesn't matter how successful you get in life, remember where you came from, you know what I mean? And remember to tell someone that, yeah, I got fired at X, Y, and Z, and look where I am now, baby. Okay. I'm gonna try these crab legs now before you all are like try the crab legs so here's the thing I don't have um, um, crab cra cra crab crackers I, I thought I did but um, a lot of stores don't have it this is what Red Lobster gave me the plastic one because they said they don't give the silver ones um, out the metal ones so so you notice there's no meat on my entree plate right now plates is because for this summer of 2019 I am on a no meat summer so when you do that You have to be so careful that you don't incorporate the carbs, like a lot of carbs. You know what I mean? I'm like making a mess here. So yeah. And then the other day, I'm going to spend the whole time trying to get this one little piece of meat out. And then the other day I saw a video where Cardi B did a live um, she did a live um, like impromptu mukbang kind of thing. I should just get my hammer and <laughs> oh excuse me and she loves her some lobster cardi b oh my god i'm afraid to crack it with my teeth and then break another teeth or something <laughs> So, um, so then I started thinking about those two ladies, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, right? Two girls from the islands, like me. Damn it. And they don't like each other, apparently. Allegedly. 
what have you. And I was thinking about it. I'm going to get corn in my tea, so forgive me. I started thinking about it. Two strong women, two vocal women, and two women who's not going to take any shit. You know what I mean? Then I started thinking about it. Hey, but isn't that every Caribbean girl? We're very boisterous, in case you haven't noticed. We're going to speak our mind, in case you haven't noticed. So it's like, the two of you are on two platform, and this is... What is, what, this is like no tea, no shade, no no hate. Just an observation from me. It's like if somebody says something about the other, it's like you can't back down because then you look weak. That's so crazy. But, but I get it. try this little skimpy little lobster that they gave me I mean I can buy lobster at Publix that's bigger than this right here are you kidding me are you kidding me so it's like they're so similar you know what I mean but I get it it's like a respect thing like Respect me. But each person can still do their own thing and still thrive. You know what I mean? I like my nails. Can you believe I just got my nails done? Like, like earlier today. And I always have this freaking problem. It looks like it hasn't even been done. Why? Am I the only one that gets their nails done and you sit on the dryer thing, right? Because I got a mani-pedi. You sit on it, the dryer thing and you're thinking like it's like a good 10, 15, 20 minutes. And then you go like this and you feel to make sure, okay, it's dry. I think I'm good. Then you're like, oh crap, my keys are in my pocket. Either you ask somebody to help you or you gently take out the keys, right? And you're still looking at your nails. Okay, I'm good. And you turn in the car keys. And you're like, okay. Just a little nippet. It, but it's a seat belt, ladies. The seat belt that gets you. Or gentlemen, it's a seat belt. Well, the ladies will understand, but it's a seat belt. Or something else. And then you look down at your nails and you're like, what the hell? When did this happen? And so I wore the wrong type of shoes. It was a sandals. And of course, my nails is all messed up. So I'm like, look at this. It's like something is stuck on my finger right now. So I'm going to do what, like what they do, which is take a little bit of nail polish remover. And then smudge it around and kind of even it out a little bit. Every time, every time that happens. And I don't want to use the dry spray because they have a dry, quick dry spray. 
because sometimes the dry spray it leaves that smell on my hand and as much as I use soap and everything I still can smell it it has a certain smell I don't know I don't know every single time so now my one of my toes the big toe is messed up and now look at this look at this little nudge I don't know if you can see it like really I can't get this out. I think I'm going to, um, how does she expect me to use this thing to just get the meat out and that's it? Okay, here we go. i just break it this way. Duh. struggling What's going on? My camera just shut off by itself. Okay. Uh -oh. I'm going to do some serious flossing. Mm, the corn is still good. I'm just making a mess. <clears throat> As you can tell what my favorite is, just the coconut shrimp. <laughs> So, I got the food from Red Lobster and the rest of the things from the Dollar Tree, except for my utensils. <coughs> I need you out. Out. You cannot eat this, so please leave.
part of me is saying in my in my mind this is a sin but what do I mean by that it's not sin it's like I wouldn't say well it's to say that thank you Lord for all of this food right and to show you guys all of this food but in my mind it's like there's so many people in this world that don't have food right now and here we are doing videos about food but let me tell you something when I was doing my <laughs> two-day detox and I was hungry and I couldn't eat anything guess what I was watching a whole bunch of food videos like to somehow sustain the the urge to eat the food <laughs> so not only that it's satisfying to some and you know like how I do my cleaning videos I feel so happy like when my house is absolutely clean and, and it's so relaxed in I think people feel that way about food like it's relaxing and comforting so comforting people that we're all overweight because we love food so much and not working out and as we get older it's hard to get this weight off I try everything everything to the point that I'm I don't know I don't want to have surgery most people have had surgery and gained the weight back because we love food so I don't know I can talk about food morning noon and night and we still love it we're still eating it we just have to find healthier options in which to eat the food so yeah I'm like killing this <laughs> crab leg you know you're trying to get like every little inch of meat out of it you pay a lot of money for it so you want to get every single meat out of it catching the meat. Oh. I think I need to wear a bib. So recently, that's what I saw. I saw police officers wearing like a skin fit Maybe because the guy was just so muscular that it looked skin fit. It was short. You know, it's one of those. You know what it reminds me of? Um, uh oh. You know those wetsuits? You know those wetsuits you wear to the beach? And just imagine that the sleeves are off. That's what I saw. He, he pulled somebody over, and I'm passing by them. And I'm like, God bless you. And I was like, and I even looked in the rear view window. And I was like, and I saw he had on like, it almost looked like biker shorts. But he was in a car. Normally you see the biker cops. And the back of the shirt said police and it was like blue and black. And I was like, good for you. It's like a hundred de freaking degrees out here. Good that they have 
You guys wear something comfy. But he looks good. Oh my god, he looks good. He looked like you could tell all the muscles were like popping out, and I was like, <sighs> you know, I was, you know, I was watching um, a quick insert of Wendy. You know, I watch Wendy Williams, but I haven't seen her since she came back from her sabbatical leave, and. But I have her on my um, on my Instagram, and she had the girl from Real Housewives of Potomac, Karen, immature lady, that's married to the Black Bill Gates, as she says. Go over there. And <clears throat> Wendy was like, listen up, ladies. Because Karen was telling people how to get a man. Which is some very good advice. And I think maybe I'm going to be bold enough and do it. And she was like, how she found her black Bill Gates was that she went to conventions and stuff like that I don't know if she just showed up there that didn't see the whole clip I just saw what you know when they do a little insert on it on Instagram so lucky and basically she was saying if you want a man and a lot you know there's a what a lot of people don't realize is that in Atlanta in Georgia there's a lot of black African American people. Really, Mojo, I cannot believe you just sitting there licking your tongue like like you're. Like, both of you get out right now. You're licking your tongue like like you're in a desert. He's like this. Like really, you have to not have fed you. And. She's like, you want to catch a man, you go to these conventions where the dentists are, where the doctors are, where these big business guys are, and you see a lot of these guys who are African-American guys or whatever your interest is at these conventions. So then my question was, when I first saw it was, you just show up there? <laughs> Karen, or if you're watching this, did you just show up there? You just dulled yourself up? So, my question is, did you just show up, Karen? Did you just show up and get yourself all dolled up? After you stalked out and looked where these conventions are? Did you just show up and pretend? Like you're doing something, selling something? I'm curious. Am I bold enough to try something like that? That would be interesting. Suppose somebody asks you like what like what you doing here? Especially if it's an all men's conference. I don't know. I don't know. You live once, right? So, you want a man? That's what Karen is telling you to do. Telling us to do. So, yeah. So, yeah. I'm curious. I'm like struggling to get this meat and there's no meat in here or I don't know yeah I will let you guys know if I ever decide to do that and 
if it was successful. But I almost feel like I want to go with somebody to do that. Make it even more adventurous. And watch that person that goes with me is the one that finds true love. <laughs> oh, find a man. Find a man. <laughs> I'm all done with this shrimp. I'm so full. So I'm kind of like Cardi B and love lobster, but I have to watch my cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this the butter? Mm -hmm. This was the sour cream for the for the, um, for the potato. So, I was watching Big Little Lies. I love that show. Oh my god. I love that show. We're on season two. Mm -mm -mm. Every single one of the actresses in the show, kudos. All of you gel together. Everybody, down to the kids, because we can't forget the kids. Everybody. because I love mysteries in season one in case you haven't seen it I already knew not how the ending was but I already knew what the husband was doing before they revealed it or no I'm sorry I already knew the husband was the baby father to the other girl But let me tell you something. Season two with Meryl Streep. Oh my gosh. Meryl Streep, Meryl Streep. I love her from Mamma Mia and all the other shows, movies. But in Big Little Lies, oh my gosh, she's playing her part very well. Mm -mm -mm. And because it's not revealed yet, and my spidey sense, because I'm a Scorpio. My spidey sense is telling me that the mother know damn well what her son is doing or did. Okay? So, here is the thing. Meryl Streep is in season two because her son died, right? And come to find out that she had two sons. She birthed two sons. But they, one of the sons died at a young age. I have a feeling... The son that just died is the one that killed his brother when he was younger. I just have a feeling, and she's in denial. But the way she's going on in Big Little Lies, like, oh, excuse me, like, oh, like, my son can never do such things. Oh, like, you're, um, like your the fame in his character kind of thing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. A parent always know your child. Unless they're like 
Ted Bundy or Hitler or somebody like that, God forbid. You know what I mean? Like, I hope a parent knows 80% of their child's capabilities. Or a parent sees some troubling signs. I don't know. Let me tell you something. Being a parent is very, very hard. Very, very hard. Because you have society and the world in one ear. And then you have the parent on the other ear of the child. And it's like, yeah, you want the child to, within this world, you can shield them up to a certain point. But eventually they're going to have to go out into the world. Hello. So, I don't know. If you don't put them in the world, then does, doesn't it become kind of cultish? I don't know. Questions that make you go, hmm, ow, ow. This thing just, oh my gosh, ow. So, I don't know. I'm trying to get this one little piece of meat. Why? I can get myself hurt because of one little piece of meat. So... It's on HBO, guys, so if you're not watching it and you have HBO, check it out. Of course, I'm not sponsoring it or anything. I just love the show. I love it. It made me cry last night a little bit. And Lisa Bonet's daughter is on it. Lisa Bonet and Lenny Kravitz's daughter is on it. Zoe? Oh, my gosh. It's like up, down, what is it, five women? But let me tell you something. Renata. So I'm sitting down there watching it last night and I'm like, of all the ladies on the show, who do I relate to the most? I think I have a little bit of everyone, right? But last night's episode... It's called End of the World, which is season two. I think episode three. I think we're on three. Whichever one's called End of the World. Renata was screaming down the place in the car to her husband. And I was like, okay, I can see me doing that. And um, and she told the husband to get out the car. I can see me doing that too. And, and he came out the car. And then, of course, people in the, in the back of her were beeping her. And then she, you know, she had the sunroof. And, of course, she gave them the bird finger. And then she was like, can't a woman have a woman to herself? Or something like that. And I was like, yep, that's me. That is me. I can see. But I, I, I love it how her character is. I love it how Reese Witherspoon char character is. Um, Nicole Kidman. The whole cast, as I said, is so good. I really hope that they have more than two seasons and have more of a storyline, but um, it's really, really good. Um, guys, I'm kind of like full right now. Um, my hand still hurts from when I, that, oh, there's more meat, there's more meat in here. Uh. So, yeah, I love it. And the guys on the show. I can't forget about the guys. The husbands. OMG. The Renata's husband, the one that she kicked out, he is a character by himself. He really is. And I just love him. It's, he's kind of like this, this, um, like, kind of like hippie, but not hippie, but cool. And how Ren Renata acted in regards to the school and the principal, I can see me doing that too. But she's more vicious. She's more like, we'll curse you out in your face. You know, sometimes you want to do that, but it's like when you're upset because you don't get something like an order or something, then yeah, as a customer, you're upset. But when it comes to your child, the mama bear comes out in you a lot. So, you know, come and let me know, like, if you made it this far in my video. If you watch that show, what do you think about it? 
that's it for today's um my first mukbang i hope that you guys enjoyed it as you can see i love this pineapple thing i think i'm gonna save that i see i have lots of biscuits left oh my head really hurts from when i when it got jammed in here i have lots of biscuits left do you want one I have a crab leg and I have lots of shrimp left and a corn. So that's it for today's episode of Mukbang with Red Lobster and my talk with you guys today. I love seeing your comments. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I'm trying to live my best life. I'm living my best life and I would like you to go out there and live your best life. So go, go, tell a friend. See you next time. Peace, love, bye.